Let it down. You are wrong. Come, come. Oh, praise the Lord. Michael Bernard. Eh? Should I read it or you tell them by yourself? Eh? Come, come. I should, I should read it. Okay, let me read it. Amen. I am reading it, but let them see him. Come this way. Not be me. Now him they talk. This is Bernard talking. This is Bernard talking. He said, God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Brother Michael Bernard. I am a Nigerian, but residing in Gabon, a French-speaking country. And I've been visiting regularly the Bride Assembly for three years now. So I am really thrilled to be part of what is happening in this assembly. He said, here goes my testimony. I am a preacher of the gospel of Malachi 4 message. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? In Gabon, Malachi 4, they are hearing us there. He said, for some years now, and have been privileged to witness people receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost during my ministration, just like in Acts 10, where Peter ministered in Cornelius' house. However, this powerful atmosphere stopped for some years and I was wondering what happened but could not find an answer to my question. I really made a lot of efforts in fasting and prayer but all was to no avail. I took God's silence as means of attracting me into a deeper relationship and communion with him till 2010 I saw you people in Hosanna Channel. Those of you sponsoring this, our TV ministration, clap your hands for our God. He saw it on the satellite television. I started coming down every year twice to Bride Assembly. He said, praise God, as I journeyed down here at June camp of 2012, I made a vow of 100,000 Naira if God will restore back that powerful atmosphere into the ministry and lo and behold as I traveled back after the June camp the Lord visited us in such a way that in two services about 60 people received the Holy Ghost while I was ministering wow 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 hallelujah he traveled back here just to redeem his vow. Praise God. A preacher of the message. I wish we had time. See how humble somebody is. That's why I told the pastors, all of us ministers, I said, be careful when you are standing here. Somebody is going to hold on to what you are saying and key into it. He came here. He didn't look for us. I'm seeing him for the first time. I've never met him. But he came in here, traveled from Gabon to attend the program. And he was communing between him and God. In the same atmosphere, he collected an anointing and took it back to Gabon. Greet the church. Greet the church. Greet them. God bless you, church. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm really grateful to be here. And he, this place is the right place to be. And I believe that if anybody comes here, he will really, really, really find God in this place. Especially be a witness of eternal life in his heart. We have fake baptism of the Holy Ghost everywhere. Really fake everywhere. When I came here, I really saw the movement of God here. Just as when Brother Abraham was holding the message himself. And I believe that is the way we should handle the message. Raw, without compromising. Without being a friend to anybody. God is our only friend. We have God alone as our only friend. Because he's the one that is going to judge us at the last days. Thank you. Keep supporting the message. Keep supporting the TV program. 
I believe a lot of people around the world is being blessed through this TV program. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Moses. I love you with all my heart and all the ministers over there. God bless you all. See you in the rapture. I will see you in the rapture. I will see you out of it in hell. Oh, we don't bless the Savior. You will live the rain forever. Oh, I will see you in the rapture. If we never meet again. If we never meet again. On this earth, my precious friend. Leave to God who have been true and leave our book of sin. Then for us there will be a meeting. For there's going to be a meeting. I will see you in the I will see you one day. our God. Hallelujah. That is the beginning of a revival. That is the beginning of our expectation. Don't sit down here and let people come from outside and collect the grace and go. Fire must start from you. Amen. We'll be back here again on Tuesday, God willing. May the grace of our Lord